Hello, MacGyver fans. We are going to talk about thermal expansion. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a very classic demo. Uh, you may have seen this. It's a, and this is actually not quite the same thing. Uh, so I have two two objects, a metal ball and a ring, and they don't fit through. The, the normal ones, these don't, don't match. The normal ones, it should fit through. Okay, so I'm going to first show you that if I heat this up, not only does it get it expand, it doesn't expand like a oh, sponge in water. It expands so the whole thing's bigger, even the hole. So let's heat this up and see what happens. Oops, didn't want that on. Turn that off. Okay, so here I have uh, a little heater. So I'm going to heat this up. Okay, oops, got to turn that off. And now let's see what happens. Boom, it goes right through there. Okay, now just to show you that I'm not completely crazy, uh, I'm going to put it in the water, cool it off, bring it back over here, it doesn't go through. So this does indeed expand when it gets hot. Everything expands when it gets hot. Here is another classic demonstration. Let's see if you can see this. This is a uh, thermometer. You'll notice right now it's at 22 right there. And if I grab, there's a liquid in there. As I grab down here and heat it up with just my hand, let's see if that thing changes. It should heat up. It's not heating up. Well, that should move. And let's just say that it does. Okay. Actually, I have another one right here. This one's not broken. Okay, so here, this one, it's kind of hard to see. There it is right there. So there's a 20. I'm going to grab the bulb down here. And you can see it's up to 23. It keeps going up. So that liquid in there is expanding, and by actually knowing how much it expands, we can determine the temperature. Okay, now I have one more setup right here for you. I have a metal bar, and it's very close to this metal plate over there. And then this metal plate is connected to a battery and connected to the LED. So if I heat this up and it expands, it'll touch and turn on the light. Let's do that. Hopefully I won't burn anything. There. Check that out. So now the light's on because it expanded until it touched the copper and it made a connection. Uh, if, I, if I pour a little bit of water on that and cool it off, it should turn off. Well, I'm getting everything wet now. But there you go. Things expand when they get hot. 